Tonight, a man remains in critical condition at a DC burn center after police say he crashed into a tractor trailer that burst into flames. Yes, yeah, Sky 9 was over this scene on I-95 in Woodbridge yesterday. You might remember we brought this to you as breaking news. Virginia State Police say the driver was speeding and weaving in and out of traffic. Now, excessive speeding has really been a problem throughout this region with less traffic since this pandemic. New at 6, Matthew Torres says highway officials hope as cities reopen, the trend will steer in a different direction. It's another day for Trooper Loud German. And 19 Rockville cop traffic. Pulling over Second. a driver on the beltway Second. for some type of violation. This time, the citation is for not wearing a seatbelt. She says she's never been stopped for it before, so again, that's something that I'm going to look into. But it could be worse. Every single day. People are crashing and something out of the ordinary happens. It's a big difference from this time last year when traffic volume and crashes were down in the Rockville area. But how fast cars were going was up dramatically. We've noticed with a lighter volume of traffic, that's led to increased speeds. And although we've had less crashes, um, we, we've seen an increase in commercial vehicle crashes. Commercial vehicle crashes haven't been an isolated problem. Just on Tuesday, a tractor trailer in I-95 in Prince William County burst into flames after a driver, police say, was speeding, lost control, hit a guardrail and crashed into it. The truck driver wasn't hurt, but the other driver is fighting life-threatening injuries. Nobody drives to hurt themselves or anybody else, but when you talk about speeds at that rate, Little mistakes become amplified. Even with less traffic last year, Maryland still saw nearly 600 people die on the roads, an increase from the year before and the highest number in 12 years. Maryland State Police say law enforcement issued more than 14,000 citations for impaired driving. But when it comes to speeding, they issued 114,000 citations. Half of those were speeds 25 miles per hour over the posted limit. You have a wide open road in front of you. It's kind of like racetrack, if you will. And people really took advantage of that. Law enforcement in the DMV continues to increase enforcement and presence to crack down on erratic driving behavior. As more cars hit the roads, though, they only hope that will slow drivers down. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.